Hi all, welcome to Season 3 with the Flashback Robin, then all the other objectives like icon swaps and so forth, so plenty to cover in this video folks for the next 15 minutes or so, so if you can smash likes, I would be much appreciated, so if the channel if you're new following Twitter at G is a legend, all links are down below for posts on the channel and social media links as always, and let me know in the comments what your thoughts are, yes icon swaps is a mess, it's going to be crazy, I've seen quite a lot of um, negative response already, but I'll be honest, they've kind of nailed down what I find annoying, level 15 and level 30, the level 30 stuff, big fan of, the level 15 less so because of the players, that, uh, two of the players have picked, well actually three, I'll be honest, the three players, and I'll get into it though, so, through the usual stuff, so, for season progress, you get all the usual stuff, for like, first all the levels, so like your 75 rare gold player, coin boost, premium gold pack, then the TIFO stuff, then another 75 rare player, 76, uh, sorry, polar bear badge and whatnot for level 6, jumbo gold 26 pack, another polar bear theme, gold player pack, then some circuit board football for level 10, level 11 to 14 when you get to them is a badge um, for like zero override, ice cold and yeti, each their own I suppose, same again for the theme, don't know why we get them, I really don't like, just give us packs, players and coin boosts, not interesting badges and themes, I know some of them look nice, like, this, but it's pointless really, I just don't see the point in them, it's like packs, Coin. Like most people nowadays have got the themes that they want anyway, or the TFOs or the badges. Like, just give us the um, packs or players or whatnot. It just makes it more um, packs, players, and coin boosts. That's what I would be more happy with. And another 75 rate roof, I just don't see the point why they keep giving you them for even just like level 13. You'd think they'd make a half decent. And it's more premium gold players for f level 14. Now, the three players for level 15 are Duncan, Foob, and Bikambu, Bikambu is stupid, he's like level, he's 8 rated being given a plus 3 upgrade, that's just daft, why not make him one of the level 30 players, but I suppose getting him in actually isn't a bad shoot for CSL um, teams, like looking at Duncan, nice looking card, basically like Tell, um, 83 pace, 75 or 82 pass and dribbling, 86 defending, 84 physical, looks a really well rounded card for 83 rated, um, 99 shoot shot power and 93 long shots, it's kind of like his main standouts actually, which is quite crazy um, for a centre mid, I wouldn't have thought that, um, but negatives, 60 finishing, 69 volleys, 51 penalties and 56 accelerated um, free kick accuracy, um, so if you've, if you've if you've got Tello and you're just wanting to push your midfield, he's definitely an alternative, Foob's just one of those generic wingers, I'm afraid. He's 4-4, um, obviously plays for Angers, I actually kind of thought he might have happened, I loosely was thinking it, but I thought nah, doubt it, and he did happen, so there's what I know, 92 pace, 83 uh, shot, 82 pass, 85 dribbling, 35 defending, 77 physical, 80 stamina, a bit of a negative, obviously the fitness this year doesn't really matter, as long as they last the 90 minutes, that's all you really need in a winger. Um, but yeah, it depends what you've got right midwise for Lagoon, that's pretty much it, that's what it comes down to in Macambu. Um obviously he's 80 rated for his base card, 4 star, 4 star, and like, all he needs is one in form, the only positive is, as far as I know at the moment, he's still in the Chinese Super League, so if you are planning ahead for say squad foundations for say CSL if they were to do it, this card could prove very useful for blasting through it. 93 pace, 84 shots, 78 pass, 82 dribbling, 38 defending, 81 physical, he's the one I'm going for anyway, he was the only one I was interested in because Serie I'm, I'm not fast, uh, the team I use for that I'm fine, um, Ligoon I'm, I don't need to worry about now because obviously as far as I believe most Ligoon objectives are kind of if we get any it'll be for a while yet, it's CSL is kind of the next focus, that's where my brain is wired, wired to, because um, forward wise for the CSL I have his base, 
I'll just put his um, 83 in. Um, as I said, for 16 to 30, it's just T4s, badges, backs, and whatnot. 17 18 is your double rear gold pack combo. Level 20 is rare Electrum. 23 and 24 is Mega and Pringle players. 27 is a League Prime pack that you get, like we've had previous for like Premier League. La Liga or Bundesliga. I don't know why they don't just do Serie A and the League Goon as well. Give us all five leagues. Just do the big five. Just give us some love. Now the three players for level 30 is Pulisic, Playa and Emerson. Three looking, three good cards actually. Pulisic, minor pace boost of plus three. But you've been given a major shoot boost up to 83. Physical. Strength's the only weakness really on the card in 6-9 long shots. And maybe he's passing as well at 66 of long pass and 64 free kick. So there is negatives in the car. There's always going to be. But I suppose if you put um, like marks or something on him, it'll sort him out nicely. Um, but yeah, he's like the thing is, he's six reigns, so you're look. He is basically three informed boosts. He ain't going to get three informed boosts just now. He might get an inform, but you've still got enough of a gap to work with it. unless he suddenly turns into a, pl a play of the month run then this card should kind of hold well and it's definitely an alternative to like Manny, Sterling and so forth so that's what you've got to factor in from a Premier League perspective player, um, big pace boost big pace boost up to 85 um, 4 star, 4 star um, 85 pace, 88 shot, 84 Passing 86, dribbling 44, defending 79, physical. Um, if you ever used the player in the past, like last year, if you like his headliners and that, good card. Um, I would say this is probably slightly better looking at the stats, and I feel um, Bundesliga wise, if you're needing a forward, he definitely looks like he'll tick a few boxes if you don't. Use like Haaland or Lewandowski, um, any of those type of players. The options actually aren't very strong for Bundesliga forward for top end, so he's kind of sneaking in, sneaking in a little bit. Uh, French forward options, he's not up there as say Mbappe, Ben Yedder, Benzema, um, but Griezmann, but. He's definitely an alternative, I suppose, and then Emerson potentially could be the best right back in La Liga, potentially. Now, last year he had his future stars, and it was literally the same rate in 85. I think the stats were about the same, if memory serves right. Um, I'd have to have a double check. But 92 pace, 66 shot, 80 pass, 84 dribbling, 85 defending, 80 physical, 3 star, 3 star, high medium. Um, I didn't really use the future stars that much, um, but looks a nice card. Like, won't deny it. Like, looks like he can at least attack if you need him to. You know, have a go. Looks like he's got the pace to push forward and push back. Um, but honestly, I would probably look at trying to boost up. Like, say. Maybe the passing, especially. I think that's what we need to work, if I'm honest, is that passing. But could be the best right back in the league because right backs in the league are a bit limiting. Now, for objectives throughout the season and the week and whatnot, you've got a week for um, Matthias Cunha, headliners at Cam. You've got your score and outside the box and a win for a goal pack. So often pray your opponent is sound or whatever. Scoring assists in two separate wins in the life. You get you a 75 rare player. Um, assist a goal with a through ball with players minimum four star weak foot and three separate wins. That's a bit pain in the backside. Especially when you've only won four. It's like they've nailed that part right, but they've nailed the other three wrong. It's like, yes. Not, like, I don't score a lot of outside the box goals in wins normally. I just have to try and finesse them in or pile drive them in. And in scoring 10 separate matches using wounds of your players, I'll have a look at the actual thing properly later. Um, but he's in, like, he's in form, it just means now I sell it and his um, road to the final, eh, sorry, the headline is, comes in the team. Don't know why I said road to the final there. Um, swaps for five to be done in squad battles. 
think, seriously. Like, I was initially aiming for the three sets of packs. Now I might not be. I might only be going for two of the packs and I'll have to just plan out which two I go for. I might just take the first two and be happy. But I'll see how Team of the Year plans out first or what squad we get. So if we win six World Battle matches with on World Class with 11 Silvers, UCL, Liga Nos, French players, first owner squad, and then win 18 league, weekend league matches. I don't touch it, so it doesn't matter. Then for the, you've got two leagues to do and one Nations. You've got one six matches. There's a match cap of 60, um, I believe now implemented as well, which is a bit daft. But to win six, score 10, and assist five, you've got to score 10 separate matches just for a token. Like, really, like, it's like just going overkill, assist five matches with a free ball. I suppose the positive is if you get six wins, you just need to, um, possibly only need to score four more games so you can, in theory, maybe give four free wins away. But because of how it's done, you're like, you might not get that chance, you might have to some people might not win the six, they might want to be trying to make sure they get the ten, go as long as they score ten games, but if it takes ten games, sorry, to win six, then fair enough, is what I mean. Um, same again for La Liga, I just don't know why. Um, I'll, as I said, um, I think swaps we're going to put off for now, if I'm brutally honest, I genuinely think I might put it off. Um, win seven in the One Nation lobby with England players and then Brazil players. So I will see what my squads are like for them and take it from there. But yeah, that's just tedious. It's like the One Nation part's fine, but the League parts is a bit daft. It's a bit kind of like so much. It's because they're trying to nullify the Golden Goal rule. That's pretty much it. Ah oh, well. Ah uh, well, and then you get your usual objectives throughout the week, so like week one bronze, silver gold, player in line, squad battles, life with friendlies, there's no co-op stuff, there's no transfer market stuff, so your XP is a little less on those departments, it's a bit annoying because I really like that. Um, nothing in milestones to deal with, and then the last piece of the puzzle is just squad, um, squad builders, uh, challenges, SPCs, etc. get there in the end of all you've got is Aryan Robin, but I thought I'd show the milestones anyway just to cover my back. So Aryan Robin is an 88 rated card, 85 rated squad with one team of the week, and you need one Netherlands player and a 75 chem squad and a 343. I haven't built the squad at all just solely because um, there's plenty of different ways you can go about it. If I'm honest, I know quite a few people in the community are happy about it, especially I know quite a few of the Dutch community folk that I know are massively hyped and excited about this. I was kind of, if I'm honest, we went to team of the year, I thought we might have got it then. But 343 three of them, 93 pace, 87 shot, 80 pass, 90 dribbling, 47 defending, and 70 physical. If I'm honest, a team of the year version with, say, like plus 3 or plus 4 on this could have been a bit juicier. What I mean is, the shooting would be say 90 plus, dribbling nearly 95, physical 75, passing nearly 85. Keep the pace as it is, if I'm honest, you just boost everything else. So it's like, say like plus three maybe on everything else if you're doing this at 91. But looking at the card, the only weakness is his two star weak foot. For me, it wouldn't bother me. Like I've used Robin enough times, I know how you get the best out of him, I know how to get, try to eliminate his weaknesses. Um, seems good value, if I'm honest, because it's one of these cards that's going to hold a lot of value for some folk, like Pride and whatnot, but at the same time with everything going on, there's a good chance that you can do it for cheap. And if you've been building up objective cards as well, and you've been building up packs, if you pace it out, you can do them. I think they've just released them just a bit too early, if I'm honest. And if they'd waited for top team of the year, um, they might have had a better version. Unless they've got something else wrapped, uh, planned in mind. 
but we'll see what happens in due course. But let me know, folks, in the comments down below what's your thoughts about icon swaps, season players, Robin, and everything else, like headliners and whatnot. So, smash like, always sub to the channel for now, and I'll catch you all later.